I will tell you the quote from my classmate. I'm too busy to study right now. I asked him why. Huh? What are you doing in the meantime? He said, I'm helping my family. I'm trying to improve myself by going to the gym. And uh, I'm going out with my girlfriend. And also playing games. The last one just killed me. You don't have time because you play games. That's what I said to him. And he said, nah, that's not a problem. The problem is that studying is hard and I can focus. Being busy, meaning having a lot of tasks and solving a lot of problems. Today we're gonna talk about three bullet points about what makes you busy. The first one, seasonal. Start when you are the busiest, so that when you get busy again, you know you can stick with it. It is simply the best tactic to start in hard times so that then in easy times it will be like this. It will be not easy but it will be just without pressure and you would know how to handle it. So I don't want you to say now in this period I'm busy but I will handle my things and then in the next year I will do the tasks that I needed to do today that I could do just by simply starting to solving my problems. Learn how to make it in worst condition and it will stick in the best. You understand why? And as my friend said, I don't have time for it. But after the test, I would... No, no, we're not going to be like him. We're studying before the test. Not in the last day, but right now when you are the busiest. So that in the last day, when you solve all of your problems, you can study more without pressure. Next thing why you can be busy is hour by hour when you say i don't have time in this exact moment right now i'm cleaning my clothes or doing grooming or going to shop and with this you can find so much time by just simply looking into your calendar first thing you're going to do is cut 90 percent of stuff that's not working which is social events going out with friends saying yes to unnecessary things partying because your main focus your main priority should be on work and that's where you should spend 90 percent of your time it is about how you make time right now it is simply what you do just look at your calendar or ask your mother I don't have time, can you find me some? Can you tell me when I'm doing something unproductive, when I'm watching YouTube for a long time, when I'm scrolling TikTok, or either ask your friend, or understand or analyze yourself. I gave the technique in other video to do a seven day challenge, to use a timer for every 30 minutes, that alarm will go, you will note what are you doing right now in this 30 minute block, and by this, you will understand where you spend your time and where you waste it, where you could be not busy. We can assume that you got a time, but you're spending it in the wrong way, on the wrong things, simply by wasting it. Certain last thing, when then fallacy. The moment, the moment you want to be the future you, you become him. When you do what they do. It is simply about how you think that when I would have more salary, I would be the better person. When I would have a beautiful wife, I would be more love and kind. When I will have more time, I will study more. This is not how this works. I want you to start right now and I want you to become the future you. I want you to study from this point after this video. Ask yourself as 80 years old you, what would he do? What would he would be grateful for? That you study for hours and pass this exam or that you spend a lot of time by trying to pass the same test for two times. Three passes, three busy techniques that you could solve. You have seasonal busyness, you have hour by hour, and you have when then fallacy. But about studies, the studying form, after you overcome all of this, after you find the time, after you sit in your chair, and you know that your task is now to implement knowledge in yourself if you are unfocused like my friend said just destroy distractions turn off your phone turn off alarms messages sit quietly in your room with your studying materials open and i want you to sit for one point half hour deep block we're not using pomodoro techniques if you use some in the past. For me, it's like a distraction. Every 25 minutes, I need to go out for a five minutes break and I can focus because from this research, our brain to change the activity, brain needs 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And by constantly going out to, I don't know what to do in this five minutes, you are decreasing your productivity. 
So to study, just focus on your studies. 1.5 hour a block would change your life and your studies experience. I know the people that are studying for 10 hours a day, they are saying that they are studying, but they simply pretending to. In the meantime, they are scrolling TikTok. In the meantime, they are going to a coffee shop to buy a coffee and sit there aesthetically and read the books. They're doing all the things except studying. And now about environment. To sit quietly means sit without your parents. Go to library. Not to distract yourself from other people. Just sit there for only one thing. For studying. And you will make it by finding time from the three busy techniques. Thank you for watching till the end. I'm grateful for making this video. And don't be nice. Be good. See you in the next one. Wabake.